I can't believe he's stuck on for so long, but they need they need the ratings in India. And Jinder Mahal ain't bringing in no ratings. Even though I think he might have just as much airtime, if not more, than Kali as a 3MB guy. But whatever. 3MB soon is going to be 2MB. They're going to get rid of uh, Drew McIntyre. S- hopefully soon. Well, they definitely are because they're planning on repackaging him. Which is good because he deserves to be out of that. He totally deserves to be out of that group. Um, even though Jinder Mahal is the one that looks like the odd man out of that that group. I would have thought it was going to be the two of them. Um, which, the, the, the Ginger and, Jin, and, uh, Paul, and, God damn it, and, uh, Drew McIntyre. So I didn't, I can't pick him up because he was a super duper heavyweight. Uh, uh, I think I was just, I was, whoa, jump backwards. That's fine. I got, I got some space. I, I'm fine with getting some space on him. <laughs> they, they warped me across the ring. I am not complaining about that. Uh, oh my God. Come on, Pirate of the Caribbean. Come on, I'm trying to look at uh, Paul Bercher. Thank you. So Paul Bercher is going to be the throwaway guy. Easily, easily to gain momentum on him. Oh, little, little uh, what whatchamacallit. It's not, but, ow! I think he chopped at my penis. It's uncalled for. Uncalled for. Uh, uh, what? I countered that shit. Yeah, Paul Bercher, per- Birchall, probably is the lowest of the low in between the four of us. So I can take out my aggression on his ass, build up my meter. Chris Benoit, I think, should be the first, if not Great Khali, to be taken out. Oh, my head. I just totally warped through that, but whatever. I miss the old glitches. Not the crazy new glitches. Where, oh! What a spear. Ugh. Whoop, whoop. Submit his ass! That's right. That's right. Build up my stamina back. Stand up, bitch. Oh, right to the junk. Come on, Birchall. You and me together. That's what. Whatever. Take it. I don't care. That's fine. Ah! No. 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 Oh, you know what? Take out. Take him out. Two. Oh! Snap. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Stop pumping me. Oh God! Look away, kids. This is so inappropriate. Oh my God. That's disgusting. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do it except for like Beth Phoenix. I think she did it once. Yeah, she, I think she did. Which is kind of hot. What the hell are you doing, Paul Birchall? You crazy. You're a bag of crazy. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm not a great Kali. You're not so great. Just standing there, doing nothing. God. Uh, hit him in the back. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to, but whatever. Boogie slap. Look at, look at Paul Birchall, please. Damn it. Whatever. Oh, boogie shoulder thrusts. I like yelling that out as if I'm activating these moves. Come on, Benoit. What? How the hell did you get behind me? Ah, what the hell? Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Too fast for you. Rush on leg sweep. Uh, let's stand his ass up. Oh, crap. He countered. Ooh, oh. Who the hell did that guy hit? He hit like everyone. Let's work on Great Khali's arms. And legs. He's a big man. We gotta work him. We gotta work those legs, right? And oh, that's it. That's what there was. Is Blackbeard? I don't know if you heard. Uh, I don't know if you heard uh, Cole. And he said Blackbeard was his ancestor, which I completely forgot. That's the shtick they were going with. Don't look at me, man. One, two, DDT. Regain stamina again. I do a lot of running. Gotta make sure I'm up there. Oh, no, he kicked me off. This match is going to be a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Ugh, don't just push me off. Oh, God. Oh, hit him. Boogie slam him. Boogie slam him. Oh, we can boogie slam the big guy. So he's, he's too big to do something special, to do some like normal moves, but these moves are fine. Oh, slam him down. And a cripple across face. Is he going to tap out? Damn it, referee. Look at me. Don't look at him. Ah, crap. What are they doing? Complain to the ref. Yeah, pay attention to me, bitch. Don't pay attention to anyone else but me. What I do is important. What everybody else does isn't. Right into a boogie slam. Boogie power slam. I'm going for pin. Screw this. One. Two. Three. Oh, damn it. I was going to say, that was a great tag team 101 move. Almost. 
Like a manual tag team move, which is awesome. I always love those moves. Ah! Ah! <laughs> he ran at me. He ran at me. Damn it. He's running everywhere. He can't run like that. You know it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, DDT! Oh, he set himself up for it. Set himself up right for the fall. Oh, no. Slap his little legs. Come on, Chris Benoit. We got history, too. I got personal history with your ass. Oh, God damn it. Oh, look at that clothesline. That stuffed. Kari's big chesticle. Just blocked it. Woo. Oh, it went low. Chopped high. I went low. That's teamwork. And, oh, fuck. I'm going to pretend he, uh, uh, he arm dragged me to splash onto Grey Kali. So it hurt Kali, not me. <laughs> Let's just pretend that. Oh, pal Bursher, what are you doing humping his back? Oh, wow, that, cl that clothesline took him down. Here we go. Headbutt to the back of the head. And Great Collie's down. The Great Collie's down. And Paul Bertra, is he going to submit? He might tap out. He might. That's what I just said. Thank you, Cole. Oh, crap. I'm in red. I'm in red. Didn't DDT him. Oh. Oh, he's going for the chop. Karate chop. He karate chopped him. And he went for the pin on me, you asshole. You idiot. Oh, Paul Birch was... I, you're supposed to steal that pin, you dumbass. What do you do? What are you doing, Paul Birch? I can't see anything. Damn you, Paul. Damn you, Paul. Ah, ah, ah. Paul, you screwed everybody up. You screwed everything up for us. Oh, got... Oh, what? No, no, what? Run the fuck away. Boogie... Nothing? Okay, whatever. Oh, boogie submission. <laughs> Let's do the boogie. Is, is this an actual, I have to press button submission? Yes, I do. Ah, I'm tapping buttons repeatedly. Oh, he's pretty weak. He's pretty weak. Slam his knees. Break those legs. Come on, stamina. i fly now. Boogie, he's down. Oh, no, he's standing up. No. Great Kali, catch me. Great Kali, catch me. Oh, shit. That was a ground move. Whatever. Oh, whoa. oh, he still got me. I was trying to run out of the way. I saw Benoit head of steam running at me. Oh, close line. Stand up. Oh, God, he's so... What? He countered that. you got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, oh, look at that. He's going on the pin for... Pa One, two... Three. Oh, almost got it. Almost got it. Screw this. Pin. Pa oh, oh, oh. Pin him. Pin him. Let's pretend this will get him. One, two... There, ah! Oh, ooh, kick out with authority. Ooh, I'm special. Oh, big DDT. Great call, he's knocked out. He's unconscious, I hope. One, two, three. Ah! He's close, though. He's close. We all know it. It's a matter of time now. It's a matter of time. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Oop, I'm sorry, ref. I'm sorry, referee. You were kind of in the way. Oh! Big kick to no. Oh, sorry, ref. You did. You're in the way again. I can't help it. Fly, baby. Oh, god damn. It jumped over the whole pack. I have to get away. It's too crowded over there. Come on. The pirate's looking at me. I know he was. With his beady eyes. Boogie splash. And slam. Look at that. One, two combination. Slam him down. Grab all that Chris Benoit penis. No rope breaks. He's out. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's definitely over. Wow. Oh, you threw him right at me, you asswipe. You threw him right at me. Dude, what did you do that for? What did you do that for? He's going to hit you now. He's going to hit you hard, too. He doesn't like you. Catch him. Catch Great Khali. No, don't look at me. I didn't touch you. I didn't touch you. Damn you, Crawley. I didn't do anything to your ass. Oh, God. Damn it. Oh, fuck. No, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Damn it. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean to touch you. No! 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 One. Two. Ah! I didn't mean to touch you. God damn it. Now we got to wash this crap. Ugh. 
And Paul Burch is gonna win this shit. This is gonna be ridiculous. This is gonna be this is gonna be so stupid. Uh, oh, what a close line! This is gonna be this is gonna be stupid. Flat out stupid. I don't believe this. If he if he wins this, he got a special. He stored it up. He's gonna hit it now. He's, okay, no, maybe not. Arm drag. Uh oh, I'm gonna lift him up straight into the Kali slam. Nope. Oh, he countered. Shit. This pirate can go. Great Kali kick to the gut. Great Kali now. Knee to the gut. He's just gonna dominate now. Yeah. Well, he technically would have had the advantage, I guess. You can argue that. Oh, what a gigantic powerbomb from the Punjabi Playboy. Whatever. Uh, what a disappointment. Oh, God. Oh, he banked it. Oh, he got from behind. You can't do that shit. You go low. Haven't you learned? Haven't you learned yet? He's going to just chop you right now. Oh, what a bitch-ass chop. Oh, he's going for the, the, the Glamazon Slam. The Glam Slam. Which would probably hurt like hell from him. That's a big height to be slammed at. Oh, he's tired. He can't manage his, his stamina. Oh, yeah, he's exhausted. Come on, Paul. You got this in the bag. Running grapple. Ooh, he countered. Running. Ugh, idiot. What are you doing? Better be careful. Kali killed the man. Oh, he's going for... Oh, uh, he ain't going for nothing. How can the Boogeyman pick up Scott Kali? No problem. Oh, he's pretty much dead. You know, he's just toying with Birchall. He knows I'm, a, I'm tight for time here. It's a long-ass episode. One, two, three. Oh, great Kali. Picks up ten points. Can I get... Can I get at least, like, five? Can I get six, maybe? Like, give give Chris Benoit. Toss him a bone. Get, give him, like, two. Or does he... No, he loses five. Or is that the case? I don't know. I don't know what's the... Ah, fuck you. What's the case? What number am I at now? If I was at 13, now, can I... Can bump me up to, like... Bump me up to, like, I don't know... 17? 18? What do you think, JBL? You can have 13 if you want to be back in the Rumble. I'll give you 13. You convince the guy to give me 17. What's it gonna be? I'm in the locker room. Uh-oh. Whoa. Uh-oh, don't drop the soap. I'm not looking for a fight. Well, you found one, bitch. I need to beat you right here in my hand. What a contract form thing. You know you what? You couldn't beat me on your best day. You're already beat, pal. It's what? Right what are you talking about? The Rumble contract that the contract is fully notarized, binding and, and non-transferable. Non okay, so what does that mean? Yeah, I like Boogeyman understands any of that it crap. It means that Teddy Long had no legal right to give you my Royal Rumble spot. So I just want to thank you for all the hard work you put in to try and improve my Royal Rumble entry number. That son of a bitch, JBL. How can you screwed me out of it? What? Well, so what now? What what number am I at? What do I got? What do we got here? So I got screwed out. Of, you can take number one back because I've since look, put that behind me. That's in the rear view, baby. I moved up to 7 and then uh, 13, so I am good. You can have number 1. Hell, Kennedy, you deal that with... That's Kennedy's issue. He has number 1. You go fight with him. Now, what do I have? What do I have to live forward to? Huh? Damn, this loading time forever. New. New message to read. Yay. Reading. Yay. JBL may face the Boogeyman at the Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble entry. Oh, okay. Last week, JBL claimed that SmackDown GM Teddy Long was behind the beyond his legal rights when he awarded JBL's Royal Rumble spot to Bookman. WWE.com now report that JBL's prepared uh, that Long J is prepared for JBL's legal challenge and has altered the plans for resolving the situation tonight on SmackDown. JBL might be right. He might not be. J uh, said Long. Holla. That's a matter of the courts to decide. And let me tell you something. The Royal Rumble is in three days. It's three days away, and the wheels of justice is turning very, very slowly. <gasps> wheels of justice. That sounds a lot like the Hounds of Justice. <gasps> the shield's gonna run in. You feel me? He might get the outcome he's looking for, but it won't come to. It won't do him any good if he gets it after the Royal Rumble has come and gone. Ouch. Uh, Long's just a suggestion. Involves putting JBL and the Boogeyman in a ladder match tonight. Ah, ladder match tonight on SmackDown. The Royal Rumble 
entry number in question encased in the briefcase suspended above him in the ring. This is Smackadowneth. We settle our business in the ringeth. Friday, we f fight on Friday night. This says Long. You get the briefcase, you go to the Rumble. End of story. Con as a condition of accepting the match, JBL, they have to give up any rights. Uh, we have to give up any, yeah, any rights, whatever. To his legal challenge. Why they put it, why is there an, uh, why they put it, like they typed in the end to return or whatever. To his legal challenge. Doesn't need a new line for that. The Boogeyman supports the plan. As far as I'm concerned, I've earned my spot in the Royal Rumble, says the Boogeyman. I've got to protect my long-term interest. And the least, the last thing I want is for JBL to swoop in and steal with his lawyer once I win the Royal Rumble and take away my WrestleMania title match. God, I spit all over my pop filter. <laughs> JBL is not available for comment for this article, but he expects to appear on SmackDown tonight. With only three days to go before the Royal Rumble, you will indeed have to accept Long's offer in order to have any chance at a period at the main event. Ugh, God, I'm done reading. Done reading! I gotta go fight on SmackDown. Yeah! End song with jazz hands. Jazz hands!